An investigation is underway after a huge blaze destroyed a popular Highland restaurant and two nearby shops. Guests at a neighbouring hotel and the residents of several flats also had to be evacuated after the fire at McTavish's Kitchens in Fort William. Gavin Roberts has more. Smoke still drifting over Fort William town centre today, hours after the devastating blaze traders fear may ruin their livelihoods. Firefighters were still on the scene, drenching the affected buildings, still smouldering hours after the blaze began. It's believed the fire started at McTavish's Kitchens, a popular Scottish-themed restaurant, before spreading to two nearby shops, gutting the premises. Fears that it could spread further meant around 10 people from the nearby Grand Hotel had to leave the building and another five flats were evacuated. The town centre was effectively shut down. The emergency services concerned that the fire-hit buildings could collapse. Around 40 firefighters battled the blaze for more than five hours. Despite its intensity, no one was injured. The efforts of the officer in charge who first attended here uh, is, is, is tremendous. He estimated the spread of fire and he immediately requested the evacuation of the uh, hotel behind me. All the guests were evacuated. Uh, operations commenced on restricting the spread of fire and preventing it from entering the Grand Hotel. It's understood the burnt out buildings will now be demolished. Business leaders say it's a massive blow to the community. It's one which is going to be very difficult for the high street to recover from. Um, I can envisage it being a number of years before these businesses, which are really um, a sad loss to the high street, being replaced. And the chairman of the local retail association, whose own shop was destroyed in this morning's incident, says the fire couldn't have happened at a worse time. It is a major blow to Fort William, and obviously there's no good time for something like this to happen, but obviously we're just in the middle or just starting our major tourist season, and uh, this is a major blow to the west end of town and possibly to the whole high street. In the meantime, police say investigations into how the fire started are underway. They're appealing to anyone with information to come forward. Gavin Roberts reporting there. Now, 60 Western Isles patients are being flown to the Golden Jubilee Hospital in Clydebank for routine...